the future is here. It's the NOC 3001X. 3000X1. Let's check them out and see what the future looks like. Alright, so these are the NOC 3000X1s from the House of Playing Cards. They are a futuristic version of an NLC deck. And <laughs> let me just say, if this is the future of playing cards and of NLC playing cards, we can do without. But <laughs> anyways, the front just says knock with some lines through it instead of it saying minimalist or whatever it usually says, playing cards. And just there's a lot of lines going through it in general. Just standard USB-C tuck cases, the artwork kind of wraps around the sides. And the top is a light blue color. The bottom some ad copy. And in the back... The artwork just kind of wraps right around, and it says knock 3000X1. <laughs> and this one has a numbered seal that's a limited edition, and 654 out of 3000, so it's not that limited at all. 3000 is not what I would call limited, and I don't know why they would put a number seal on that, but it is what it is. It's a bit more expensive. Uh, you got the dark, and you got the light. Uh, we'll look at that, and then the flap, it just has a kind of a circuitry logo, which... Kind of weird and random because I don't see anything, haven't seen anything circuitry related in regards to these decks, per se. So, uh, you get a blank card with these decks, and there's your back design, it's dark, and it's, good. it's got this detail going through it. It does add to fans and cardistry. I'm not entirely sure of these, I'll have to see if I can see. You also get a double backer, uh, it's white on one side, light and dark on the other. And it's not centered well at all. It's kind of crooked from the looks of it. As you can see this border. It's kind of weird. And then the Jokers, they are just, just like usual. It's just a star of Joker in the corner, except it's a bluish color. What is that? An aqua color? Or is it teal? Ace of Spades, same as usual. Standard premium quality. And House of Playing Cards. This simple pip. Uh... Said I don't know. I don't believe these are marked in any way, from what I can see. And then the court cards are standard, but they've been recolored. And, and the blues and blacks, and maybe simplified a little bit. And there's a black background on the black cards with white pips there. But basically standard. I'll just show you them quickly. They're nice. I like the colors. I like the simplicity of, about the, about them. The uh, you know how they've simplified the artwork a little bit. And then the number of cards are all just standard, straightforward. I'll show you the other deck, but um, it's basically the same. It's a, it's a numbered limited edition. I guess limited to some extent. Uh, it's got basically the same thing, so you get a blank card, there's your back design for this one, there's like a double backer, and you do get the double backer that's dark on one side, light on the other, and it looks to be about centered as straight as the other ones, probably from the same print run, and the same Joker is the same Ace of Spades, and everything else is exactly 100% the same. <laughs> they are printed by USB-C, of course, on... A bicycle or perhaps a crust bicycle stock I don't recall if they said specifically what it was and of course the air cushion finish they are just like most other NSC decks they handle good they look pretty cool when you fan them I will say that much and they're probably the most customized NLC cards we've seen thus far so I'll give them that much and I do like the border details for fatting and cardistry as I'm sure most do. Uh, overall, as far as NLC decks are concerned, I'll say uh, 8 out of 10. They're pretty nice, the backs and everything, and the colors, and they're pretty unique in comparison to most NLC decks. So I'll give them that much. I'll give them that much. If I had a bad comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. We'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching.